Hi, welcome back to the Wild Gourmet Show. Last segment, we showed you how to go out and pick uh, winter chanterelles and where to find them in the woods and how to identify them. And uh, we got quite a few nice ones. I also showed you how to uh, use newts for survival foods. And we got into showing you how to find a water source out of the mushrooms right in the woods if you get thirsty, especially in a survival situation. So today we're going to show you how to cook them. We're going to make a wild mushroom duck cell and we're going to put that in some fresh made pasta, make a ravioli. It's going to be a nice big four inch ravioli. So let's get busy here, okay? Use semolina flour to make our pasta with. Pool in the middle of our flour. And add three eggs to that. This is the way Mama used to do Mama Mia! That's Italiani. Kind of mix it up with your fingers. So you start working it into the flour. You just do that by hand. Alrighty. Get close there. I think I still need a little bit of moisture. I'm going to add some water to that. You can spray it or just dab it like that. It works. It needs to be kind of a pliable ball. Almost at that point. Okay, I think we can start, probably start rolling that out with a little regular flour on it. Flattens out pretty good. So, regular white flour helps the rolling pin from sticking, like I said. Going. Every once in a while, you want to kind of break it loose and turn it over. Just make it big enough so we can get like a couple of nice squares out of it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut and square this thing up here a little bit. Off the excess like that. Okay, basically, probably need, that looks like I'll make a couple noodles. A couple ravioli, split that. Here we got a nice couple sheets of pasta there. We're going to make a ravioli one on top of the other and stuff with that mu mushroom duck cell we're going to make. So we're going to stick those aside for a few minutes. Remember, I told you for a winter chanterelle, you want to see the nice big hole going down the center. It should be a tube and look like a trumpet. So you know that it is a nice winter chanterelle, and that's a beautiful one there. Yeah, the and the uh, bottom, they're also called a yellowfoot chanterelle because that yellow is the same color as the summer chanterelle, the Siberius. This is the tubiformis. So we're going to clean these. The way I clean them, I just kind of take them and bounce them like that. As you can see, a lot of debris comes out of them. You can also take and split them because sometimes there's some debris in here. So you just take and split those bigger ones like that and wipe that. Clean. Now we're going to put some olive oil in the pan. Oil getting good and hot. We're going to put some gar minced garlic in with that. Lots of minced garlic in there. Mushrooms always have a lot of water in them, so as you saw, we're going to put another pan on the top of that and try to pour some of that water out. If you do that, it pushes the water out real fast, then we'll reduce it down and it'll give us a nice mushroom, gives us that nice mushroom flavor. Oh, yummy looking mushrooms. Does it look good? See the water just dripping right off of it. Remember I took that drink of water by just squeezing that one, so you know there's lots of water in these things. But we don't want to throw that water away. You can use any more an hour sauce you want on that. Yeah. Just use your favorite kind or bottled one if you want, just whatever you like to eat. If you like to make your own marinara sauce from scratch, that's wonderful. As you see, those mushrooms kind of cook down a little flat. They're not like regular summer chanterelles. They kind of hold their shape to cooking a little more. Yeah. Have a little Rosemary. 
Put on my garden. All right. Getting down there. Now with the regular duck cell, you'd actually run this through a processor and kind of grind it up real good. And that makes really make the duck cell. Well, it always has lots of, basically, a lot of butter mixed in with your product. Reduced down so that uh, the fats of the butter go in and protect your product while it's in the refrigerator being stored. Duck cell is made so you can bring it out and top all the steaks or chicken or whatever you like with it. You probably want to incorporate all this butter into there. It's very good for your weight, but it sure has a lot of flavor to them. Oh, look at that nice buttery essence they're getting in there. See, when you grind those mushrooms up real fine, then you get that nice butteriness mixed in there. Boy, that makes for a beautiful duck cell. You can just use that as a top. Freeze it, keep it in your refrigerator, and then you can just put it over steaks and chicken or fish or whatever you like. We're going to just spoon that mushrooms right on there. Kind of pile them up in a little pile in the center. Keep away from the edges. We're going to top that with some feta cheese. Put the top on. Well, I should have a little bit of a egg wash going here. A little bit of water. seal your pasta a little better. And we're going to put that right on top of the other one. Use our fork and we're going to squish them down together. You want to make sure you squish those together so they'll hold their shape. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't look pretty nice. That's what we want. Now you can take and just put these away and you can actually freeze these just like that. Or you can take and just drop them right in your hot water and start cooking them. Just like that. Alright, looks like we're about done here. Our uh, sauce is up and warm. Nip it back a little bit. And looks like our pasta is about done here. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Just lift it up lightly and slowly. The water will drain off. Just place it on your plate. Put a little marinara sauce on there. Decorate that with a little more feta cheese on top. Oh, doesn't that look yummy? And we're going to put a couple flowers on here just to make it look pretty. And a little bit of a little sprig of rosemary coming up there. There we go. And we have a lovely plate. This has been the Wild Gourmet Show. Thank you for joining us for picking winter chanterelles and how to cook them. I'm Lee Gray, your host, and this has been the Wild Gourmet Show. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.